to put this down while I keep looking yeah. is that okay yeah. <laughs> sorry yeah <laughs> my hands filled up thank you so much well, I appreciate we'll it, back here for you. I really appreciate it absolutely we appreciate you being here <laughs> y'all are busy that's awesome <laughs> thank you
Sorry. <laughs> A couple of things. Yeah. That's my big old paw right, right there. Looks <laughs> good. Thank you. Oh, hey, thank you. <laughs> things oh, oh there you go oh, oh there's okay. the there's shoes, the shoes. Right. Where's the were shoes you go? looking for them i'm sorry <laughs> no, <laughs> i wandered up i was like you don't have any wiggle room on the prices do you by um, chance not on no, this okay not, but but kara is not here like, what is it how much is it uh 20 i think it had on it 20? Yeah. i don't think i can do it on these two things okay but but this other stuff yeah that's fine yeah, okay, i just figured that out thank you so oh much God, i'm gonna pop them in my pile if that's okay Would that be okay? <laughs> thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you. That would be wonderful. There's another five there, so 25. Oh, 25, yeah. I'm going to just say. And there was the wallet, yep. Yeah. So. 25, 40, 45. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. This is 45 here, right? Oh, this together is 45, that's oh, this right. Is 45. Yeah. 45, got it, okay. Sure, please do. 52. Would you do 60 with this shirt? Would that yeah. be okay? Oh, perfect, yeah. Would you like your hanger back? Yeah, you can. Are you sure? Thank you. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. All right, I listen to you talk all the time. Oh, thank you. <laughs> We want the hanger, we want the she, she wants the hanger. She wants if the that's hanger. okay, oh, yeah. they're $60. Awesome, thank, thank you. Thank you guys very much. Can I love I it, thank you. you. Um, I'm right down the bottom, so I'm, I'll just do a couple of trips if that's oh, okay. Yeah, that's I don't fine. mind, I'll save you the oh, trouble. Oh, I'll come right back. Okay. <laughs> thank y'all. <laughs> I appreciate it. All right, you guys, welcome to the haul. So this is everything I picked up at the yard sale that you just saw. I spent a total of $60 on everything you see here, which might seem like a bit much for sort of everything here, but I know I can get all of that back on just one item. So bit of a no-brainer.
Let's start from this end and then work this way. So this has no branding on it. It just says made in India, but I picked this up just because it is such a cool, like solid piece. This is almost like a granite. It's so heavy and it is a stocking holder. I just really like the style. Very kind of like folksy primitive. Next, we have a Lillian Vernon um, vintage Christmas angel. I haven't looked this up yet. Uh, again, there are some things that I just went ahead and took a chance on uh, with Christmas sort of coming our way. This is her here with a little porcelain face. I have one mug that looked like it was selling for anywhere from like 15 to 20 dollars it is by sunny craft made in korea and it's this really cool like sunshine yellow no chips or anything like that again that was about a dollar i grabbed these merrill morel however you want to say it um leather sandals that's been really nice shape just need a few little threads trimming off but that's easy to do for three dollars this was a bit of a surprise to me when i uh, took a closer look so it's brand new with the tag still three dollars and it was heartwood creek by jim shaw and uh, so jim shaw is definitely a bit of a bolo it's one of those things that we sort of always look out for really because some of those pieces are very very collectible and with this being new with the tags for three dollars this is obviously like an, a manger for a nativity scene figured that was worth grabbing uh, i got some, i don't even know what this is dr curacle i don't know uh, but i scanned the barcode it's brand new in the box it looked like it was selling for around 30. these keens i technically paid 15 dollars for they were asking 20 they took it down to 15 for me which was really nice but i grabbed them because they're men's first of all but they are are brand new like no tags or anything but these things have never been worn brand new so definitely a good amount of profit there I have some more Christmas ornaments so this one actually has the tag on it still I thought it was a Christopher Radko at first it's not it's Whitehurst imports made in Poland uh, so we have the train we have like the little caboose that goes with it they seem to do quite nicely I'll sell them together this just kind of slipped into my pile I don't think it's worth anything Santa's man in the moon I don't know uh, accidentally kind of threw that one in um, this one born on a starry night christmas hanging ornament so i don't know anything about the artist or the brand but it looked intriguing enough to me like with the box and stuff i decided again for like 50 cents or whatever it is to just give it a go little kind of nativity lamb and it is uh, signed there by the artist as well Next, we have something a bit more local. Gallery of the Mountains Grove Park Inn in Asheville, North Carolina. I just thought this piece was really cool. This looks to be older as well. It's like a jigsaw puzzle almost, but it's this kind of man in the moon. Again, for sort of 50 cents or so, gave that one a try. I have two ornaments here. Calyx Artistry, uh, handcrafted glass ornaments from Europe. They seem to be doing quite nicely as well. Maybe sort of 25 or so for the pair. Uh, this I know nothing about, but I absolutely fell in love with the vintage wrapping paper that was all over the box. Um, it's like a little handmade decoration, I think, with a hummingbird with real feathers. Again, I don't know that it's worth anything, but I just thought it was really cool and that somebody else might like it and I'll sell it with the box. Very 70s. Um, I got for 50 cents an Otterbox Defender uh, phone case, so probably good for around 15 or so. This is another item I paid up on, so $20 I paid for this, but it's a brand new Kate Spade uh, star wallet and you can see everything's still wrapped and stuff inside. It has like the little wristlet strap. Um, I should be able to make all my money back on this, like a good $60, probably a bit more for this because it is the bigger wallet or wristlet uh, so hopefully maybe even around 80 or so if i'm lucky and then two pieces of clothing i have one piece uh soft surrounding size large silk blend I paid four dollars for this it's brand new with the tags and it comes with like a little scarf it has a little velvet trim perfect for the holiday season fall and winter and lastly, we have a Patagonia organic cotton um, plaid flannel shirt, women's size two. All right, you guys, that's everything I picked up for $60 at today's yard sale. As usual, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to come back and hang out with me, hitting up some more yard sales, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you never miss a video. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.